Hey, you want to ride a Rocket 3? <laughs> you son of a bitch. Oh, man. Guys, look at this. I was at the IMS show, got to see one of these in person for the first time, and we're over here at Douglas Motorcycles taking this out right now. Let's go. So, alright guys, if you don't know, I am 5'7", and I'm almost flat foot in this bike. It is wide, but nice. Let's fix the mirrors so I can actually use them. There we go. Get my left, get my back. You guys can see this beautiful setup right here with the RPMs, mile per hour. Now this is all interchangeable. Let's see. How do you do that? And select. So we got your riding modes, your bike setup, your trip setup, display setup, default. You still got your clock, all that stuff here, ABS, what gear you're in. We got ride modes, rider, rain, road, sport. Man, got a bunch of cool stuff in here. And display setup, theme. Look at all this stuff. All right. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get back. Back. There we go. All right. Now, we're playing with it. We can see right here. There's your gear indicator. And let's go. Smooth clutch. Turn signals both on the one side. All right, let's go. <laughs> I'm barely even turning the throttle. Oh boy. Oh, that dip's good too. Let's get over. But we're going on a quick ride to feel the bike out. And we're taking it on one of my favorite roads right here in San Bernardino. taking it easy guys that was nothing to what this bike can do Ooh. man for a big bike she just dips Ooh. sorry buddy he wanted to go that way anyway oh man <laughs> Oh, that's the problem with some of these videos. All you want to do is laugh. <sighs> Green? Yeah. Suspension feels pretty good. Now, if you guys don't know, this thing has 2,500 cc. Now the previous model, I don't remember the number, I'll throw it on the screen for cc's, but wasn't as big. And somehow this bike weighs less. Triumph is out here killing the game. Well, I definitely found the bike that'll beat my bobber that I've ridden. The Harley Davidson FX DR, I did not know if it would beat my bike or not. I was like, it'll give it a good run. Man, this thing is 
This thing is fun. So I know that was a very quick test ride you guys, but we're going to get back over here to the dealer at Douglas Motorcycles and let's talk about this bike. I can't believe how well this bike corners. I mean I can, but... Ooh man, sounds so good too. I want to hear one of these bad boys with an aftermarket exhaust. Oh. <laughs> got good slow turn maneuvering gotta get some pictures in front of the thing here Ooh. so let's kill the motor oh, so you press in on the there you go guys this thing is beautiful it handles great I love the positioning it's got hand warmers on the GT. So you got your home button, display button, horn. You got your flasher there, lock. Ooh. Let's go through the, let's see if we can look through here real quick. That's your rider modes. Let's go back down to your display setup. Brightness, visible trays, gear shift indicator, rider name, language, units, clock, date. Man, theme. Let's go theme. Theme. Let's go theme one. All right, let's go home. Ooh. So you can see we got your fuel indicator here. All this stuff. Of course, it's saying oil because the bike's off. All right, man. Let's look at this. Uh, what is that? So you can see I just pressed the lock button and locked her. I'm a huge fan of the Triumph lights here like they were on the Bonneville, the one inside. That thing is gorgeous. So let's talk about what I was talking about here, you guys. Besides, you can see the Rocket 3 GT 2500cc three-cylinder motor. These are all adjustable. All the stuff's down here. Right from the factory, you can make these adjustable, which I think is really cool. You can see this one has the passenger seat and sissy bar. But where's the passenger pegs? Can, can you guys see them? Well, they're right here. Bam. That is one of the sleekest little details I think you can have. Uh, not a lot of people want to have pegs on their bike, but it is stowed away unless you need them. Now this gas tank is 5.6 uh, gallons. And from what I was talking to with the owner of Douglas Motorcycles, or one of the guys here, um, it actually gets better gas mileage than the previous one to a tank and the previous one had over a six gallon gas tank look at that fat tire beautiful tail light setup from the start uh, of course there's going to be a lot of people want to do a tail delete I don't know if those are out yet but you can see the one side swing arm here just a bitchin setup you guys Brembo brakes you know, I'm, of course, always going to put the details up on the screen for you guys because I'm not a super detailed guy. That I'm a, like, let's ride this bike. Yeah, it's wide, but it handles <laughs> like nothing. It's got more lean angle than my bobber by a good amount, and it handles perfectly going in and out of those turns. 
slow turns. You guys saw in the video. Very cool little things. Little like shield for your boat. The boot can sit underneath next to the motor. Uh, right here, under this is the dipstick. It makes it super easy to get to. You know, everything is accessible and rider friendly, which is a huge factor. A lot of times when you go for styling and looks, you're not getting easy access to things. You got your little plug-in right here. Flasher, just so many little details that make this bike very rider friendly. I am honored that I have gotten to ride this bike. The second this bike came out, I wanted to ride it. Um, I sat on the, the old Rocket 3, like Shade Tree Surgeon's Rocket 3, and that thing, man, I felt like I was going to run small kids over, and I wouldn't even notice I did it. But this thing still has a big presence with a lot smaller package. I'm 5'7", like I said, and I can almost flat foot this bike just because the width alone is the my issue i do have a 28 to 30 inch seam so in case you're wondering that because everybody does come in different size and shapes i'm really digging this bike what i want to know in the comments what you guys think about this bike and also a big thank you to douglas motorcycles uh i'll leave their website in the description below so you guys can check them out uh add them on instagram all that fun stuff if you're in the area and you're looking for a triumph this is this is the place. Uh, you know, there are other dealers, but when it comes down to talking to them for Triumph, uh, they've been fantastic. Uh, and just up and above. Yeah. And once again, guys, this is not like a paid demo or anything like that. These are just good people that want to spread the word of Triumph, and they're fantastic to let me take this on a very short ride. Um and somebody's taking this beautiful bike home very, very, very soon. Well, by the time this video goes up, it's probably already going to be gone. All right, YouTube, stay safe, stay classy. Let me know, um, like I said, what you guys think about this bike, uh, what you think about the previous Rocket 3, and also what is your favorite Triumph bike out there? Have you ridden a Triumph? Do you want to ride a Triumph? You know, I love talking to you guys in the comments. So, like always, stay safe and stay classy, you guys. Thank you